In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add dimension in the z-axis using AutoCAD 3D. If you've ever tried to add a dimension to the z-axis, you might have noticed that the program defaults to staying in the x and y plane, often resulting in a dimension reading of zero, which can be quite frustrating. But don't worry, there's a simple workaround that I'm going to share with you, which involves moving the user coordinate system, or UCS. To begin, let's address the issue. When you attempt to add a dimension in the z-axis, AutoCAD restricts the dimensioning capability to the plane of X and Y. This limitation happens because the UCS by default is set to the top view, aligning with the X and Y axes only. What we need to do is reorient our UCS to the surface where we want to measure the Z axis dimension. This might sound a little technical, but let me break it down for you step by step. First, go to your command line, one of those most essential tools in AutoCAD, and type UCS. Once you've typed that in, press Enter. You're now preparing to move your UCS to the position where it can effectively evaluate the Z-axis. Now, type Face, and again, press Enter. At this point, with your mouse, you will select the specific face of the object you wish to add the dimension to. Doing this tells AutoCAD how to align the UCS, essentially rotating or moving our point of reference so that the Z-axis measurement can be captured. By selecting the face, you're instructing the program to align its coordinate system to that particular piece of geometry. And it's this change that makes it possible for us to finally add that elusive Z dimension. Now, with the UCS correctly aligned, go ahead and add your dimensions to the Z axis as needed. This process allows you to measure along the new orientation, reflecting true distances and proportions according to the face you've chosen. Finally, once you've successfully added your dimension and completed your measurements, you'll probably want to return your UCS to its original world settings. This is important to reset the coordinate system for any additional work you might need to do. To do this, type UCS again in the command line, hit enter, and then simply type world and press enter. This will restore your UCS to its standard position aligning once more with the global X, Y and Z axes as initially set up in your model. And that wraps it up. With these steps, you can effectively work around the default plane limitations in AutoCAD, allowing you to take full advantage of its 3D capabilities and accurately dimension in the Z axis. Thanks for watching, and I hope this tutorial makes your 3D modeling work a bit easier and more effective. 